Okay, it is May 3rd of 2007, the first day that we saw Leah Dandrin was May 1 of 2007. She had been diagnosed with POTS, post-orthostatic um, post tachycardia syndrome. At the time she was taking five different medications at the age of 16. Um, when we measured her, her blood pressure was 123 over 76 with a pulse of 82. On standing, uh, her body jumped up to a pressure, or dropped, excuse me, a pressure of 101 over 76, but the pulse went up to uh, 116, which is a 34 point rise. So let's see how she does today. We're going to measure her blood pressure. I'll try to get the glare out of there, too. There she is just equilibrating peacefully there. Pulse looks real nice there. You can see the beep on the machine that it's looking very, very good. We got her 96 over 57 with a pulse of 55. 96, 57, 55. Now if you look at that, that's going to be a significant drop there in pressure. She's down about uh, 27 points on the systolic, uh, 19 points diastolic, and pulse is down baseline of uh, 27 points. Now I will ask her, yes she can please, to stand up. I always tell patients, remember from lying to standing, pressure should rise 6 to 10 points. Uh, if pressure does not rise, then one of the things that should happen is the pulse should compensate. And so this made-up condition, in my opinion, called posterior orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is just that. It's a, it's a made-up syndrome. And uh, so now she's 82-60. So she's still dropping from lying to standing with a pulse of 85. So the pulse went up this time. When did it go up? We just had you at, what, 57? So it did go up again pretty good, but the pressure dropped. So that's interesting. Yesterday we had a better, better response where the pressure rose. So her adrenal system is still a little vulnerable. But we'll work on that again and test it one more time. Just did some structural work on Leah. And you'd be amazed. Sometimes this is... You know, first shot deal, we don't know if her pressure changed or didn't change, but sometimes pressure can change very dramatically in response to structural corrections. And we've made some aggressive biochemical changes, and there's no doubt there have been some significant changes uh, in her physiology in just a, a few short days. In fact, yesterday we had a pressure, which we filmed, that pressure dropped quite a bit, which we still see that. Okay, 96, 56, 56, which is very consistent with where she was, 5656. And I am gonna ask you to stand up. And this already looks better. Oh, this is amazing, really. On structural change, she went to, she went to 100 over 64 with a pulse of 69. So just getting pressure off of her occiput, and she did have a head injury. She actually has had some cranial work over the last couple days, too, because she had a head injury where one of her eyes will not close without the other closing. And uh, we're improving that. We see some improvement, but not exactly where we want to. But uh, clearly, this is a beautiful response. Pressure originally... Um, dropped 22 points and then the pulse went up by 34 and now this pulse went up by 16 points and the pressure went up by 4 so it's a very appropriate response and 69 is by nobody's definition tachycardia do I have your permission to share this information with doctors students and patients everywhere yes. do you think your parents would mind no. <laughs> brother no yeah, you're, we're fine. you're technically the legal guardian for uh, for this weekend, right? Mm -hmm. And it's all okay. We're good to go. Thank you so much.